What's up everyone? Welcome to the second tutorial in Photoshop. Today we're going to be covering the more basic tools. Last time we were left off with the slice tool, so let's start now with the spot healing brush tool. There are three main sections of this, the spot healing brush, the healing brush, and the patch tool. The spot healing brush is for anything that you want to go over in the image that doesn't really belong in the image. So say you want to get rid of this, just paint over it and it would disappear. It's not really use for, useful for big images like this, but when you have an old image with a scratch on it or some dust, it's really useful. The healing brush tool is to recreate a section of your image. So say you wanted to recreate this rock, just hold down the alt tab and you'll see little crosshairs. Click once. And then once you go to another section of your image, you can simply just paint and it will recreate. And the patch tool is just for larger sections, just like the same as the healing brushes. And the red eye tool is just like it says, you paint over it to fix red eyes in photographs. The brush tool is one of the most basic tools. As you can see, you select it and you just paint just like a normal brush. And the pencil tool right here is very similar, except it gives you very hard and jagged edges, a lot more harsh than the brush. And the color replacement tool, you select a color from down here and you paint over your image and it paints the shade of color. As you can see, it's turning everything a shade of green right now. And these tools are called the stamp tool and the pattern stamp tool. The clone stamp tool is a lot like the healing brush. To copy a section of your image, just hold down the alt tab, click, and as you see, you can paint again that section of the image anywhere else on your photograph. The pattern stamp tool allows you to go up make a selection of a pattern so we'll select the bubbles and as you see if you go down and paint it, begin, it begins painting that texture or pattern on your photograph the history brush tool allows you to paint so say you would make a line and if you painted over it, it painted the history of whatever your last action was. So if you painted a line and then painted it with a history tool, it would delete whatever section of that line you painted over. And the art history brush is not very useful, so we'll cover that at another time. The eraser tool erases whatever section of the image. Very simple. And the background eraser tool erases the background. And since we only have one layer right here, you can see that it's doing the same thing, but once you have multiple layers, and we'll talk about that later on, it's pretty useful. And right here we have the gradient tool and the paint bucket tool. The gradient tool allows you to pick two colors down here a main color and a foreground color and go over your image and as you can see it gradually fades from one color to the next now the paint bucket tool is different say we have an entirely new layer which we'll talk about later and paint this it allows you to paint solid colors and this color is the color of your main color right here And these tools are called the Blur Tool, the Sharpen Tool, and the Smudge Tool. The Blur Tool, whatever you paint over, it blurs a section of your image. The Sharpen Tool sharpens the section. And the Smudge Tool I'll show you right now. Let's get rid of this layer we just made. So say we wanted to smudge this. Just select your Smudge Tool, and as you can see, that portion of the image is smudging. These tools is the dodge tool, and what the dodge tool does is lighten any pixel that you paint over. 
the burn tool does just the opposite whatever pixels you're painting over it darkens those pixels of a similar color and the sponge tool just saturates the colors so whatever colors you're painting over with a spon sponge tool it just brings out more of the natural colors this is called the pen tool and it's a whole other tool on its own so we'll talk about that later the text tool does exactly like you think if you click it you can type text either from left or right or up and down these arrows are for the pen tool so we'll talk about those later the rectangle tool and the other shape tools are just like they sound if you select a rectangle to tool you can of course make a rectangle on your image just basic shapes and then we have this custom shape tool down here and as you see if you go up here you can select from a wide range of custom shapes and then you could simply drag and now you would have whatever shape you selected on your image right here is called the note tool it's for taking notes if you wanted to remind yourself you can either take it by text or audio if you have a microphone this tool is called the eyedropper tool and is very useful say you wanted to paint this color with blue but you couldn't find it anywhere just select it with the eyedropper tool just press click and as you can see on your colors palette it now changes to blue so you can now select your brush and paint with that blue color and this hand tool we'll talk about later the zoom tool is one of the most useful tools we have to zoom out you click this tool up here and to zoom in you click the plus tool to say we wanted to zoom in just click zoom in and now we could zoom in you could also use hold down control on your keyboard or keyboard and press minus to zoom out or plus to zoom in and clicking this right here will take you to the default colors black and white and if you want to toggle in between them you can click this and to select the main color just double click this box right here and now you can select from a range of colors and then press OK to verify it and this mask tool we'll talk about later on and this tool right here is just for changing how you want to view so say if you want to view a standard or I'll be working with maximize screen mode and that's all the time we have for right now but in the next section we're going to be talking about the menu bars and if you're not already there you can go to www.thenewboston.com and I'll cover everything I went over today thanks